Okay, so once you finish up by going, talking about, um, first of all, Dan and Dewey going, Pete and Dewey going to the infant shelter when they were babies. Oh, yeah. And then from there, they came back home, then they went to Mrs. McKenna. Ch and Chicken feet. And she gave, they had jobs to do there, and one of them was washing yeah. the chicken feet. So uh, when the kids were little. Yeah. Uh, is that going now? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just rolling. We're not stopping. Just keep oh, on going. Okay, you're, you're you, you, can you can edit, edit it. it. I can't. Yeah, I, w I will. I won't put it. Okay, well, what, one very sad thing. During this war going on, we had a war going on at home too. That's why Dan wanted to get out and the big war. But uh, lost my train he of thought. He was a, just a little baby when they went yeah. to the shelter. Pete, Pete and Dewey, they they were victims of a different sort. My mother got tired of taking care of her little kids, so she brings them out to the infant shelter. And that was located on 19th Avenue. And uh, I went out to visit them a couple of times. And uh, the sadder faces you never saw. I never saw Pete because he was, he was too young to be playing out in the yard. So he was kept inside mostly. And he, he was happy as usual. But, Dewey, he was old enough to know that things were not good, and you couldn't get a smile out of him one bit. So it was sad. We eventually she took him back, I know, so. and then later, after a while, I guess she got tired of taking care of them again, and she got her, got herself a boyfriend or whatever. I got into a with him one time but wasn't very nice and I moved out and that was the end of the Indian and uh, I protected her and I end up in the lockup <laughs> for taking care of her she turned against me of all things and uh, I lost my train of thought again <laughs> well, we talked about the, what, their jobs out at Mrs. Yeah. McKenna. Oh, yes, yes. Washing the yes. chicken feet. So, uh, from uh, the infant shelter, they came home and they had lived with this one and that one. And uh, finally, uh, they ended up at this home that my father, our father, was uh, friendly with this couple, married couple. And uh, he asked her if he, she could take his boys in for a while. So she said, oh, yes, yes, she'll do that. Mrs. McKenna, her name was, she was very English. And uh, I went out there this one day to visit with them. I thought, maybe cheer them up. She said, oh, yeah, just go straight through the house. And uh, I did that, and I went out. And I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Here's two boys running after chickens. And when they finally catch a chicken, they pick them up and they have a little basin there. They're washing the chicken's feet. That was their job for the day. This was too much. And the next day I went out, I said, pack your bags. I said, I'll, you come home with me. So I. I kept them for a while, and then they ended up with Pat, our sister, and she had more, a lot more room than I had. They were sleeping in the living room for me. She took them in the, they, she had a nice attic that was fixed up with a couple of beds, and uh, so everything worked out fine. Amen. <laughs>